Did you know that there's one plane that could take over the entire aviation industry once launched? In this video, we'll take a look at the A380neo and why Emirates CEO Tim Clark is demanding this exact plane. Make sure to watch to the end as we reveal how this exact plane would drastically reduce the seat price making traveling more affordable. You see, the A380 is by far the biggest and largest jumbo jet currently in service by airlines throughout the world. But with numerous airlines having to down the A380 as the COVID-19 pandemic hit, the need for such an impressive engineering marvel seems to be dying down. However, the demand for international air travel has seen an unexpected resurgence, which could perhaps see the birth of the A380neo. You see, Qatar was the first airline to say that purchasing the A380 might have been their biggest mistake. However, the Middle Eastern airline has brought back the A380 due to increased demand. In fact, Emirates CEO Sir Tim Clark has gone on record during the June 16th Paris Air Forum to reiterate calls for an A380neo version, which aims to be more efficient and reduce the 85% break-even fare of the current A380. So, with the possibility of an A380 renaissance on the cards, it might be time for the European-based manufacturer to perhaps heed these calls. Join us today as we look at whether a Neo revolution might be on the cards and if the A380 could perhaps follow suit with the A330 Neo and shape up the world of aviation as we know it. Even though production of the A380 has halted and the last one was officially delivered to Emirates in December of 2019, calls for a more efficient Neo version date back as early as 2017. You see, former Emirates CCO John Leahy was the first to pitch the idea, having the following to say. The A380 is an efficient way to offer better economics and improved operational performance at the same time. Leahy was referring to the fact that the A380 already has a proven record and it might be time for the manufacturer to offer more unique passenger preferred experiences. However, he was referring directly to the plans from Airbus to design a new A380+. Plus. But after numerous ideas and the pitch of this new marvel, airlines simply didn't care for the possibility of bringing a new Plus version into their fleets. Essentially, the A380 Plus didn't receive any orders and the idea was scrapped. But just as the pandemic fallout was over in 2022, a sharp increase in long-haul travel sparked the need for airlines to dust off the old A380 and return it to service. In fact, it is estimated that there are around 4,000 long-haul flights each day with modern demand. However, it's still not optimal according to CEO Akbar al Bakar. So, what will Airbus need to improve for such a massive engineering endeavor? One of the best ways to look at the redesign of an aircraft would be to consider the Boeing 777X. You see, the traditional 777 has been around for ages, but the American manufacturer has recently announced its plans to convert this into an upgraded 777X version for their customer base. Unfortunately, the 777X has faced numerous challenges and delays have been plentiful. In fact, the estimated release for this new wide body has been pushed back to 2025. But according to Airbus, designing an A380neo would not be that hard if we only consider the new potential features. You see, the only true issue many airlines have with the current version of the A380 is the engines and many believe the current GP7200 and Rolls-Royce Trent 900 engines are simply not efficient enough. Leahy once again went on record saying that he wanted the new A380 to have far better engines, which offer an increase in performance and fuel efficiency. But just as Leahy made these statements, engine manufacturers told the former Airbus CCO that such technological advancements would take at least another decade, essentially rendering these ambitions useless at the time. However, just a few years later in 2021, the American company General Electric and Rolls-Royce on the other side of the pond revealed the Gen X and Trent 1000 engines. These were designed for the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and would offer between 10 and 15% more efficiency than those currently on the A380. Pundits would be quick to point out that adding these new engines to the current A380 would be a step in the right direction. However, by the time such fittings would be complete, they would already be too old and newer engines would be available. For instance, the GE9X engines designed specifically for the 777X would only be available for this new aircraft, 
which means that by the time they were released, there will be a new standard bearer of engines for aviation. As for the internal specifications, the original plans for the A380 Plus would have seen an increase of 80 new seats and a range increase of around 300 nautical miles. But this is minor if we compare it to features like the folding wingtips on the 777X. So as you can see, the A380neo idea simply missed the mark through timing, and this has led to it being scrapped altogether. But now we should also look at the cost and feasibility of such an aircraft. It's best if we look at the initial cost of the original A380. You see, the A380 program was launched at an initial price of 10.7 billion US dollars. If we compare this to the cost of redesigning the 777X, we will see that Boeing only spent about $6 billion in 1994 for the original 777. Adjusted for modern inflation, this would be around $12.4 billion in 2023. But as the 777X program kicked off and numerous challenges were encountered, including the price of the brand new GE9X engines, the program already totaled close to $30 billion in 2021. We could add another $1.5 billion for each year and has been delayed since 2021. However, Airbus seems to have this already planned out. You see, in stark contrast to what Boeing has done, most of the Airbus models feature a very similar setup. Back in 2015, Airbus president and COO Fabrice Brigier said that converting the original A380 to a NEO version would be more effective than redesigning the aircraft from scratch. He estimated that such a conversion program would cost the European manufacturer only two to three billion dollars. This would include new engines and wings. But it also makes sense to go the conversion route as many airlines are unwilling to risk buying a new aircraft and would be more inclined to upgrade aircraft in their existing fleet. So why don't airlines jump aboard? By now you might be a bit confused, but behind the scenes there are plenty of things still going on. According to the Airbus head of commercial marketing, Stan Sparberg, the biggest issue for many airlines is risk. You see, the maintenance on the A380 did cost airlines millions of dollars once it was downed in the pandemic. If we happen to encounter another such global pandemic, airlines would be left with numerous super jumbo aircraft that need to be maintained, and many airlines are unwilling to even consider such a risk. Additionally, the A380 is essentially a one-trick pony, and it can serve one singular purpose. Whereas the A350 comes in numerous variants, including the freighter version, which offers more versatility to airlines. In fact, the A350 can do everything the A380 can do, including hub-to-hub high-density routes, whilst doubling down to fly low-density ultra-long routes. So, essentially, there is no gap in the market that the A380neo would fill. But let's not forget that after scrapping the future production of the A380, Airbus was left with a massive production line for this aircraft. To ensure that this hangar space and production did not go to waste, the European manufacturer has converted it to serve the more popular A320. The A320 is a pivotal cog in the survival of the Airbus company and has been responsible for many of its sales. It's one of the most efficient narrow-body aircraft in the Airbus arsenal and does not seem to slow down in terms of orders. As we told you in the intro, this potential plane would greatly reduce the seat price. This is because of a new 11-seat across economy cabin which would make flying for all across the world so much better. So, what would have essentially been a $2 billion investment would now require a brand new facility and production plant. As you can see, this does render the possibility of such an aircraft virtually impossible. But what do you think of having an A380neo? And do you think such an idea would ever come to light? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and give this video a like so we can keep producing your favorite aviation content.